So just imagine an application that did a complete scan of your Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield or really any Android TV device. And in that scan, it then showed you that all of these applications you have installed on your device need an update. And not only does it tell you that, with one click now, we can update all of the applications on our device. And it doesn't matter where those applications were originally installed from, my website, somebody's file linked, or even any of the official application stores, we can now use this application and update all of them automatically. On top of that, this application doesn't need the mouse toggle. It's absolutely free. It was only updated a few days ago and the new version really has some amazing features that this really could be one of the best utilities for 2021. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So to get the latest version of this application, open up Downloader and enter in the short code 53402. And this will quickly take you directly to my website. So type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get the latest version of this application. So let's open that up. So this is the updated APK updater. Here's some of the key features, supports APK mirror, Aptor TV, F-Droid, and even Google Play. And if you keep scrolling down and here's the link for the latest version. Let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And you can follow the same procedure on your Android TV device to pull this application directly onto your device. Click on install. That's now all done. Let's press the home key. Now I'm going to do a quick demonstration with this application, both on my 4K Fire Stick and also the new Chromecast with Google TV, because I know the previous version of this application had some issues with Android TV. So I just want to show you that the new version works properly across both platforms. So let's open up the application. Now, when you start the application for the first time, it will do a complete scan of your system and tell you exactly, firstly, what software you have installed, but then also what updates are available for that software. So for example, on the bottom left, we can see that I have 61 applications installed on my Fire Stick, and out of those, 22 actually have updates right now. Now, before we go to the Updates tab, if you just press left on the remote, that takes you straight to the bottom. So we can now navigate across the bottom menu. So the first thing you should do is click on Settings. So for example, you can adjust the theme uh, if you want to. But the key thing you want to change here only on the Amazon devices is the update sources. So by default, you have four repositories which are all enabled. The only issue we have with APK Mirror is, is when there is an update for any of your applications, the link to actually get the update takes you to that website. And as we know that browsing on the Fire Stick, it is a little bit tricky because there's no native built-in browser that we can download from. So that's why on the Fire Stick or any of the Amazon devices, I recommend you turn this off. The other three repositories actually just pull the application file and allow you to update it directly from this application. Now let's go down. The rest of the things I just leave as a default. Let's now go into updates. And here we are guys, we can now see that I have 22 applications which have updates available. And if you notice on each of the application, we now get a logo telling us where the update is going to come from. So, so the live channels application, I can see that there's an update on Aptor TV. My current version is 1.24 and the latest version is 1.28. So for example, now if I click on install, that should now pull the APK directly from Aptor TV and just give me the prompt to install it. So it really is as seamless as that. Let's click on install. And there we have it guys. I'm now running the latest version of the application. Now let's scroll down. Now here, for example, we can see this application has a newer version on the official Google Play Store. I'm running version 158 something and the latest version is 160 something. So let's see if that works as well. So click on install. And if that's going to work, that's actually pulling the update directly from the Google Play Store. And again, guys, we can see that's working absolutely fine. So no kind of issue of, you know, do I trust the source or where this update has come from? Because these are known sources, we can safely update all of the applications on our device. And let's click on install. 
So we had an update from Apple TV, and we've also installed an update from the Google Play Store. Now if I go back to the menu at the bottom again by pressing left on the remote, let's go over to applications. We also have the option to ignore updates. So what that means is if you want to stay on your current version of the application, I can click on ignore here. So even if there is a new version of this application, because the application is now marked as ignore, I'm just not going to see the update on my device. Uh, let's go back to updates again. And let's just do one more before we jump over to the Chromecast. Okay, let's get the latest version of TV Mate. So I'm running version 2.8 and there's a much newer version called 3.2.0. Let's click on install. And just like that, my device is now running the latest version of this application. So it really is a fantastic tool and will make the updating of all of the applications on your device just so much easier. Okay, so let's now jump over to the Android TV device. So here we are on my Chromecast with Google TV. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you leave the comment below hashtag APK updater, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Okay, let's go to all apps. Let's open up the application for the first time. So it's very, very similar on the Android TV devices, but there's a couple extra things that we can do. So again, to go to the bottom menu, let me press left on the remote. I can now go to settings. Now here, for example, we can actually leave the APK mirror because on these Android TV devices, we can actually go to a browser and download updates from there. So I can leave that enabled. And I think the rest of the stuff we can leave as defaults. Now, if your Android TV device, like for example, the shield is rooted, you can also turn this option on. But here, for example, we can see on my device, I have 49 applications installed on my Chromecast, and I currently have 18 updates for this application. So let's click on that now. So here, for example, we can see the new version of Airy TV, uh, some of these other applications here. So for example, uh, Haystack, which is a great application for news, where I can see there's a new version on the Play Store. I can click on that. That should go off and get the update from there. Okay, so you may see this warning the first time you do this. So if I go to settings and just enable APK updater and enabling this just means that we can install applications through these applications, kind of like what you have to do for other applications like Apple TV and of course downloader. And let's go back to the updater. Let's click on install again. Click on install. And within a couple of seconds, I'm now running the latest version of the application. So really is as easy as that. So here, for example, this is actually on APK mirror, which is SD made. If I click on that, we can see it's actually asking me which browser do you want to use? So I know, for example, this browser, I can use that because it has to be a browser where you can actually download applications through. So I can definitely do that with TV bro. Give that a second. It takes me straight to the website. I can scroll down, click on download. I now get the download prompt. I can click on downloads and that's the latest version of the application there. I can click on that, click on install again. And that's basically how you get updates through APK mirror by using a compatible browser on Android TV. That's now all done. Let's go back to the updater. And lastly, let's get an update from Apto TV on Android TV. So let's go for FilmRise. I'm currently running version 1.2, but 2.8 is out. And we can see guys, as soon as I click on that, that pulls the update from Apto TV and allows me to update that directly on my device. And that's now been updated. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for an easy way to update all of the applications on our Amazon devices or Android TV devices. And I really do think this is a fantastic utility. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.